Even now, Daryl Maguire is unapologetic for being a self-proclaimed serial pest. The more doors you knock on, the more ledges you write, better your chances of securing something. And that attitude extended to his private life. Tapped phone calls showed how he lobbied his then partner, Gladys Berejiklian, about projects in his electorate. Yeah. We ticked off your conservatorium the other day, so that's a done deal now. Yeah, but that's only that's that's the building and ten million, not the rest of it, not the next. Oh my day. God, heaven help us, seriously. But it's two stages. That pressure didn't stop when he resigned from Parliament in disgrace in July 2018. Just over a week later, Mr Maguire was still pushing his pet projects. And I'll throw money at Wagga. You just have to do what's right from your end, otherwise you'll kill me. No, no, it's fine. I'm batting for you. You just need to know what the right things are to throw money at Wagga. And you I'm, need... I already know. You've already told me the three top things. And I you need know. to in, and go and give them a stadium. I'll do that too. Don't worry. Well, the bureaucrats knocked it all out. Yes, in well, I've, yes but I can overrule them. Daryl Maguire told the Commission cementing his legacy wasn't the primary motivation for his continued advocacy of local projects, just a byproduct of delivering on what he'd promised as local MP. He said before he was forced to resign, he was seriously considering retiring at the 2019 election, at which point he and Gladys Berejiklian planned to go public. An attempt by Ms Berejiklian's lawyer to have the most intimate details of the relationship heard in private failed partly because of a media blitz in the days after the relationship was first revealed, including her hope of marriage one day. You loved her? Yes. So far as you could ascertain, she loved you as well? Yes. You contemplated marriage? Yes. With her? Yes. There was discussion about potentially having a child? Yes. That's in contrast to Ms Berejiklian's characterisation of the relationship last year. He wasn't my boyfriend. He wasn't anything of, of note. Uh, I, you know, I certainly hoped it would be. More uncomfortable questions are likely tomorrow when Gladys Berejiklian gives evidence. Kathleen Calderwood, ABC News, Sydney.